The aim of this video is to support teachers and other people working with students who have asthma. A fundamental part of being able to understand and support a student with asthma is to have a basic knowledge of the condition and what it involves. In conjunction with this DVD, a resource pack is available to support teachers and parents to manage asthma. This can be downloaded from www.into.ie and www.asthmasociety.ie So um, in my second year teaching, second class, I was informed that a boy had asthma in my class. It's a few anxieties maybe because would I be able to look for the signs of an asthma attack? Would I recognise the symptoms in time and would I be able to deal with them? And if there was, as we would say, an emergency situation, if the boy was has having an asthma attack, would I be able to deal with that situation and be able to remain calm and also be able to mind the rest of the class at the same time. So what is asthma? Asthma is a chronic medical condition that affects the airways, the tubes that carry air in and out of the lungs. The lungs consist of a series of tiny branching tubes called airways, which carry air in and out of little air sacs, or alveoli, exchanging oxygen for carbon dioxide. The airways have muscles within their walls and a layer of lining. Asthma triggers then irritate these airways, causing them to react. The lining of the airways becomes inflamed and starts to swell. Often sticky mucus or phlegm is produced. The muscles around the walls of the airways tighten so that the airways become narrower so it is more difficult for air to pass into the lungs and for air to be exhaled. These reactions lead to the symptoms of asthma. Triggers for people with asthma will vary. What triggers yours will be certainly very different to mine. The most common triggers are the common cold, pollen, dust, moles, cold air, exercises. Many people with asthma have several triggers. As students get older, they will usually recognise their own triggers and symptoms, but younger students may not. When somebody's having an asthma attack, they're finding it difficult to breathe because they're striving for oxygen and it's not there for them because oxygen exchange is being interfered with. The symptoms include coughing, shortness of breath, wheezing, tightness in the chest, being unusually quiet, difficulty speaking in full sentences. Not every student with asthma will have every symptom. Well, the thing is, like when you take an asthma attack, you can't breathe. Like you, you have to, you have to go. You, you can't breathe properly, and you, you need to inhale quick. An asthma attack is a medical emergency, and what is used immediately is a reliever of medication. You would give the child two puffs of this medication through a spacer. This acts as a reservoir for the medication and makes it easier to get to the lungs. You insert it into the, this aperture. You place the mouthpiece in the child's mouth. You hold it at right angles. You press a puff one at a time into the spacer and the child breathes in and out five times. Then you press the second puff and he breathes, or she, breathes the medication five times. If there is no response, you continue to give this reliever every minute for five minutes. If you don't see any signs of recovery, you get medical help immediately. This medication is very safe. Really not giving it and not giving enough of it far outweighs any side effects. Also, the medication given through this means is far, far lower than medication being given through a nebulizer. So never worry, really, about overdosing a child with this. You never, ever leave this child on its own. And also, you should let the parents know as well. When I met with Dean's parents, um, at the start of the year, we developed um, an emergency plan. So if something happened, I would know what steps to follow. So um, we decided to keep um, an inhaler or spacer device in the classroom and in the staff room and that all the staff would know where to locate it. So if something does happen, uh, we know the steps to follow. This is our emergency plan. 
and this will be located in the staff room for all the staff to see clearly. Um, here we have here we have the five minute rule. No, this emergency plan most definitely reassures the teachers and helps us to deal with the situation and minimise the circumstances. For some students, exercise may be the only trigger for their asthma. However, as exercise is part of healthy living, it is one asthma trigger that should be managed, not avoided. The fact that Dean has asthma, it doesn't affect his ability to take part in P or other sports. Um, however, uh, we do take certain precautions with Dean. Uh, Dean does a warm-up 15 minutes before he takes part in P. If I'm like really bad about take to attack he attack he take me off the pitch if I'm there and like if he had his spare inhaler with him he'd give it to me and like let me watch the match. If a student has asthma symptoms when exercising, they should stop, take their reliever inhaler and wait five minutes until breathing easily and symptom free before starting again. The five minute rule emergency procedure is as follows. Give the student their reliever inhaler immediately, preferably using a spacer. Get your student to sit in an upright position and loosen tight clothing. Stay calm and reassure the student. If there is no immediate improvement, continue to give the reliever inhaler every minute for five minutes or until symptoms improve. If symptoms do not improve in five minutes or if you are in doubt, call 999 or a doctor urgently. Continue to give the reliever inhaler until help arrives or symptoms improve. So how can teachers and others help? One of the most important steps is to establish good communication with parents. Dean's parents were a great help for me. Um, they informed me of his inhaler, that he would, that he would need to keep a blue inhaler at very accessible at all times. A regular communication is essential between the teacher and the parent and in Dean's case um, we talk, chat on a daily basis, uh, for example in the mornings when I collect children at the line, if Dean is wheezy or has a tight chest or is prone to an asthma attack, uh, the parents will inform me and at the end of the day if, I have, if Dean had to take his inhaler I will also inform the parents at the end of the day. And when I take my medication I can do all the things the other kids can do. Helping a student to become more independent and confident to self-manage their asthma is a large part of their development. Participation in school activities can help encourage independence and joining in school trips or outings is an important way to do this. School staff or group leaders should be aware if they have a student with asthma in their group. They should ensure they inform parents or students in advance so that they can be prepared for a trip or outing. In conjunction with this DVD, please review the resource pack. This can be downloaded from www.into.ie and www.asthmasociety.ie.